this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. In this video we're going to learn how to create our very own jack-o-lantern lantern effect. Now this is an effect that you can use as a template because once we create this effect uh, it, you will be able to just copy the effect and then the, the layer style and then paste it onto anything and you can automatically uh, once you do this once you can put a jack-o-lantern on anything in any photo at any time as long as you have your original one photo that you've done the effect on so you can copy it so um, unfortunately creating the effect is uh, kind of boring there's a lot of things that we just need to just select a, a series of effects it's going to be five effects that we put in a row and you kind of just have to just apply them as I show you, and then you can as once you're done with that, you can maybe play around with the which each of the the settings and and play around with the look. But first, I want to show you the look of it. So unfortunately, you're just going to follow along here. Uh, it's going to be pretty much just follow along as you see me do. So I'm just creating a new layer and filling in with white or black. It just needs to be a solid color. Actually, it doesn't really matter at this point. We're going to be filling it in with a solid color. We're going to add a layer mask and uh, fill it in with black. So black is my background color at the moment, so I just clicked on uh, Alt and uh, Control and Backspace. Fill that in so I am removing entirely that, uh, the, the white layer. Okay. Now we're going to add an effect to this layer, and this is where you need to just kind of just follow along. Um, so we're going to go for Inner Shadow first. And in the Inner Shadow, we want a series of modifications. Okay. We're going to change the Blend Mode to Linear Burn. We're going to change the color sort of like a uh, a dirty brown color like uh, something around here so we want something sort of like that okay now we're going to use global light and keep our angle at uh, negative 145 keep the distance at 10 and the size at 4 okay so that's the main options that we need there for inner, inner shadow once you're done with that we're gonna go for outer glow and in Outer Glow, we're going to change the mode to Color Dodge. We're going to change the opacity to 30%. And the color, we want it to be white, like so. And we also want to change the side here just slightly from 5 to 6, like so. So that's all the modifications you need to do. The rest of the stuff stays as standard. Okay. Now we're going to go to Inner Glow. And in Inner Glow, we want to change the Blend Mode to Normal. And uh, we're going to change the opacity to 100%. And we're going to go for, click here on the color. We want a, a bright yellow, so make sure that you're on a bright yellow, not a green, a yellow. And then we want to just dilute it a little bit. And what I mean by that is, if you move the slider here, the, the, the color picker over, you're starting to blend in white until you get to white. So you want to blend in a little bit of white into that yellow so it becomes a little bit diluted with white, like so. So you want it so bright, you want a little bit diluted. So right about there, click OK, and we're going to go with uh, the size here. We're going to change the size to 10 pixels, like so. Everything else staying the same. OK, now we're going to go with uh, Gradient Overlay. Click on that. And with this, we want the Blend Mode, we want to keep it at Normal. The Opacity at 100%, and we want to change our Gradient here. I'm going to click inside of it. And I'm going to change this color here of black. I'm going to double click on it and put it to white. And the white, I'm going to double click on it and choose a bright yellow. Whoops, bright yellow. There we are, like so. And now I want the gradient to be more white and to, to uh, instead of like an even amount of white to yellow, I want to actually move that along. So I'm going to click here on the bottom and move that about so that there's a lot more white going on. And I'm going to let go around here. It's just a little bit after the percentage mark here. It doesn't really matter all that much, but somewhere around here would do. So you have a heck of a lot of white, and then it transitions into yellow. Click OK with that. We want our style here to be radial with a line with layer selected. We want an angle of 0 and a scale of 150%, like so. Once you have that set, we're on our last thing. We're going to go for stroke. So we're going to click on stroke. We're going to put a size of 1, positioning outside. We want the blend overlay, the opacity to 0, and we want the color to be black, like so. 
and this is our jack-o-lantern effect. So once you've done inner shadow, outer glow, inner glow, gradient overlay, and stroke, believe it or not, we're going to click OK, and now we have, with our effects, our jack-o-lantern effect. Okay? Let me show you how this works. We have, I'm going to go into our layer mask. And with our layer mask, I'm going to now be punching through the layer with our effects. Let me show you how this works. With white, I'm going to be painting. Look at that. How cool is that? To be able to just instantly create a jack-o-lantern like that. And there's there's another way to do this. I mean, we're going to keep the same effect, but I just want to just alert you to the fact that now to be able to duplicate this effect into any other uh, image, all you have to do is right click here and do copy layer style. When you go into any other image, you want to create a new layer and mask it out, and then you want to right click on it and do paste layer style. From then on, it's exactly what you're doing here. So you have, as long as you save this one image, you will always be able to come back and create a jack-o'-lantern effect. Now, let me show you something that looks a little bit more natural. Of course, you can paint with your paintbrush, right? But it becomes a little bit more natural looking. Let me fill this in back with black. When you actually use your pen tool, make sure your pen tool is set to paths. Because now what you can do with the pen tool is you can use, you know, the pen tool lends itself to being a little bit more like as if you carved it with a knife, right? So you're just going to be closing in your paths like so. And, you know, carving a jack-o'-lantern with a knife, you're going to get all these sort of jaggedy edges, right? I mean, it's just with a knife. So we want to uh, do something sort of like this, for example. Like that. And I'm going to do another one here just to sort of like a semi sloppy one here let's say uh, a very young child decided to do this one here for example something like that right we can create another one right here a big one and create a nose uh, right about like that and we'll make this a big smiley one like so okay now what we can do is uh, bring up our layers, go into our paths. So actually, if you don't have paths, just go to Window and Paths, like that. And now we're just going to control and click into our work path to make a selection. All right? We'll go back into our layer, and now we can just fill that in with white. So that was Alt and Backspace. White is my foreground color. And I'm going to deselect. And uh, look at that. Jack o' lanterns, and it looks really, really cool. And you can, you know, obviously spend as much time as you like this. I did this kind of sloppily right now to show you, but you can do this to any image, you know, any angle, and so forth of a pumpkin. Make sure you just you're drawing to that, you know, appropriate thing, and uh, it'll look really, really cool and really realistic. So there you are, jack o' lanterns. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.